position to me from Bella. Uh, first of all, back almost a year ago, Bella was one of the committee members that made the decision on how we were going to handle our coaching program, number one. Secondly, not only was he invited to be part of the coaching staff, he had plane tickets, hotel reservations, credentials, he was all set. We have a, uh, an international rule that says that uh, in the team competition, you have two coaches, okay? What we decided is that we'd have two neutral coaches. Greg Marsden, Greg had the ability to select his other coach. Normally, you select a woman as the second coach. That was all part of the decision that went back seven, eight, nine months ago. Bella was the guy in the very first place that nominated and positioned Greg in this position. The now, in the individual event finals, they can have their personal coaches. Absolutely. The individual event finals, competition two and three, they can have their individual event coaches. Right. When Christine needed Bella, he could have been here, just like Don Peters was and Mark Lee was and Bill Adon and Strauss and Becky Buick. They all had their individual okay, athletes Okay, thank here. you very much, Mike. Thanks. Back to you, Tim. All right, Bart. Luisa Riviero of Brazil is on the uneven bar. She was born in Rio de Janeiro. She is only 14 years of age. Now, this is not one of her best routines on this event. I have seen her look outstanding here. But she did make it through. She's a talented new youngster coming on this scene. She has a lot of promise. Luisa Riviero has been in gymnastics only eight years. This is her first year on the senior team. Alder to handstand. The moves aren't as crisp and clear as I've seen her do. It's a pike double back dismount. She was third coming in, but she must be injured. She scratched on the vault, she scratched on the floor exercises, and she really did not look that sharp on the uneven bars. All right, no, no. No peguei na unha. No flopar nem o Missy Marlowe and Sabrina Marr will also participate on the uneven bars for the United States. They come up just a little bit later. And they will add a lot of excitement to this event. They're both excellent on this event. We're now told that Luis Ribeiro of Brazil does have a knee problem. So Luis is really struggling. She has scratched, as I said, from two other events. She's a very strong gymnast. Watch this mount. It's very unique. Haven't seen it done in a long time. Free up to handstand. Delchev. Actually, that's a poor connection. It probably won't take a deduction for an extra swing. But for a poor connection, they will. Cast a handstand, a giant swing, and a tuck double flyaway. She slung it out just a little bit and had to take a hop. She needs a 9.739 to take the lead. Now look at this mount. It's almost like she's going to jump back to do a back handspring. She grabs the bar and then kips up to the high bar. It's a free hip blind change or half turn. Nice high release move, a Delchev. There's that extra swing. Setting up for a dismount. Giant swing. And a tuck double flyaway. See how far she landed away from the uneven bar. She, she kind of slung it out. Sabrina Barr and Missy Marlowe yet to come on the uneven bars for the United States. Sabrina coming off that marvelous performance in the all-around competition where she won the gold. Sometimes it's so difficult for these gymnasts to come right back the next day and perform in event finals. It's a very demanding competition here, physically. A lot of the girls don't look quite as sharp as they did in the all-around. 9.739 is the score that Chivas needs to take the lead. These are the judges debating the 
performance of Elsa Chivas. You have to get the scores within range so you can hear the judges asking if they'll come down one or go up one tenth. It seems like there is more debate in gymnastics than there is in many other sports, say in diving. Well, it's so subjective, it's depending on what each particular judge is looking for. A lot of them are sticklers on form. A lot of them really go for the more difficult skills. That's is why we now have six judges dropping the high and low. How political is the judging? Uh, in, a, in an event like this, not so much as in, um, in a team competition. 9.40. So she stays in second place. Luisa Ribeiro of Brazil is still in first place. And coming up later, Sabrina Marr and Missy Marlowe of the United States. Right now, let's go back to Brent at the Broadcast Center. Brent? All right, Tim, we'll come back for that activity. I want to remind you a little over an hour, the women's gold medal basketball game begins, the United States and Brazil. And at halftime, we're going to take you over to the convention center where they're boxing. You might remember Pablo Romero of Cuba. He is the young man who unfortunately took the law into his own hands one memorable night here and stormed up into the stands and we will see him go against the Puerto Rican boxer Nelson Adams for the gold medal and that will be at halftime of the women's championship game. We'll check in with Billy Packer and see what's cooking over there. The Hoosier Dome for the women's finals of the individual event competition. Right now we are on the uneven bars and our leader is still Luisa Ribeiro of Brazil, followed by Elsa Chivas and Laura Rodriguez. But the two Americans are yet to come, Sabrina Marr and Missy Marla. Next up on the uneven bars, Maria Inez Flores of Guatemala City. She is quite a story. Left home when she was 12 in search of a coach, hooked up with Bella Caroli, injured her arm and still performs with plates and screws in her bones to brace her arms. It's hard to believe watching her work bars now. Not quite showing the handstand positions. She was severely injured, Kathy, on the dismount of the bars. A freak accident. She does a comb in each dismount. It was a good performance from her, but it really lacked any of the big skills that the other performers are doing on this event. There's no major release move. Yeah, the judges are definitely, look, definitely looking for the big release moves. One thing, however, that makes this exercise very nice is the fact that she has excellent toe point, good clean lines, perfect form. However, in the finals, you do need to show some very big difficulty skills. And here she does a nice cast of handstand at the end. The giant is clean, really nice extension in form here. But a very simple tucked comb in each dismount, of course. Not a big dismount, and it'll prevent her from getting a really high score. And again, we tell you that she needs a 9.829 to take the lead on the uneven bars. The next gymnast up, Missy Marlowe of the United States. She's 15 years old. Her hometown is Salt Lake City, Utah, and she's been competing eight years. Her coach is Mark Lee, and her best event, the uneven bars. This is Maria Inez Flores waiting for her score. Quite a comeback. In 1986, she won the gold in the all-around competition in the Central American Games, plus four medals in individual competitions during those games. Following that severe injury, She's had a terrific time here, though. I've noticed all week long she's been really enjoying the competition. She and her coach, Jack Thomas, have uh, been parading around smiling. And uh, really, I think this is a terrific moment for her because she came to this competition hoping to do well, and she performed very cleanly. And I think that's important to not make any major mistakes in the finals. How would the delay affect Missy Marlowe? Well, most of these athletes are very well trained, and they've been in this situation before where they have to wait for a judge's conference. 9.475 for Maria Inez Flores. That gives her a total of 18.90, which moves her into third place. And Missy is just gorgeous on this event. The leader is still Luisa Riviero. Look for her extraordinary toe point, straight legs, and lines. 
Good stalder work. It's a front stalder. So smooth. A little low on that cast to handstand, but a good reverse heck. And a tuck comb in each dismount. Ooh, a step on that landing. In order to get the really big scores here in event finals, you've got to fight for every tenth of a point, including that landing. It's crucial that you stick. Good handstand position. Again, look at the line, the straight leg. She never loses her form. And a tuck comb in each dismount. She could definitely learn a more difficult ending, a dismount. She needs a 9.427 to take the lead. Sabrina Marr. The gold medalist in the all-around competition is waiting. She is next. Nine point eight zero is the score for Missy Marlowe. So she now moves into first place, giving her a total of nineteen point six three seven. Now it's interesting to compare these two athletes on this event. Missy is very smooth and clean and flowing. Sabrina is aggressive, has two big release moves in the routine. Sabrina Barr, 17 years old, a 12th grader at Marina High School in Monterey Park, California. She needs a 9.926 to take the lead. Stalled her to handstand, big reverse hit. Here's her second release move. Ginger immediately goes over the low bar. Free up to handstand and a double tuck flyaway. Just a slight step on the landing. Very good performance. Quite a story, Sabrina Marr. She almost gave up the sport two years ago when she was suffering from a very bad back injury. Take a look at her release move here. Reverse hecked, way away from the bar. That's what the judges are looking for on these release moves. Getting the height and distance from the bar. Here's Sabrina's dismount. She has a free hip to handstand and a double tuck flyaway. the score of Sabrina Marr, but there is another conference on the uneven bars. Kathy, it seems as if the judges weigh so heavily that dismount and the landing, almost more than the performance and routine itself. Well, it's kind of a mindset of the judges. It's the last thing they see. It's the finishing touch. I think what's really hard for these judges is making a comparison between the last two routines. They're both very good for different reasons. since the Pan American Games began has been rather slow. I know in the men's competition, the Cubans were very upset with the scoring. They thought it was unfairly low. 
Women's competition has gone rather smoothly, but here today there have been conferences and the judges have been slow to post the scores. One thing that slows it down, though, is the language barrier. They have to, it's a little difficult in um, talking gymnastics terms when they don't speak the same language. They have an interpreter down there. 